So hi, uh, this is the recorded session of the Angular. So this video is basically consists of uh, through two three concepts of Angular. The first I'm going to tell you like what is the Angular, and secondly I'll let you know what is exactly standalone, what are pipes, and how you can use the pipes inside the standalone component, and how you can load the different uh, components uh, or you can navigate from one component to another so uh, basically what is the angular so angular is nothing it's it's a framework of the javascript if you are moving with the angular then you must have the knowledge of the javascript first the concept and uh, what are what are the uh, different languages we're going to use we're going to use inside the Angular. The first one is the TypeScript, HTML, CSS, and there, yes, there is one specification file, which is mostly used for the test purposes. Uh, so uh, basically, we used to call Angular as a single page application. So why is it so? Uh, somewhere Angular is skipping the part of the processing, like. Uh, the best thing to understand uh, what is angular or what is what whatever the new thing is that we have to know that if the angular was not there how the things work if angular is not present with, with the current current scenario then how the things will going to be work so for suppose i'm taking an example of the php here so in case you want to navigate from one page to another so what you will do you will just provide the url inside that and you can just click on that button and the uh, the page will going to be load and move to the another page of the php but here uh, you can also move from one page to another but the page is not here uh, will be the right thing to use you can use uh, you can just replace the page with a component so you will going to move from one component to another for suppose uh, this is this is my web page in the black rectangle is my web page and for suppose these are my components okay so I'm having a very small application and uh, it is having multiple components over here it is not symmetrically separated but yes so this is the c1 this is c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 i'm just giving it a name so uh, how it works like for suppose you are moving to the home page in that case uh, this is your home page okay uh, this is your uh, about us this is your employer list and so on <clears throat> so in, uh, in case uh, uh, you want to navigate from home to about us the browser will directly communicate with the compiler and it will going to tell us that you are switching to the components and uh, moving from home to about us will just uh, show or uh, or or I'll say that it will hide all the rest of the components and you will I'm just explaining into the layman language that how it will going to be work so that's why so this is the about page and uh, this will be the focused one nothing else if you want to move to the uh, if you want to move to the uh, employee from about us to employee in that case all the rest of the component will going to be height this is the easy easiest way to understand what exactly the angular and the component the single page application looks like and again if you want to move to the back to the home page in that case this will the only one will going to be show other will be height here uh, there are multiple concepts will going to be introduced like lazy loading eager loading we're going to cover cover that in in the further classes so this is what the single page application looks like we have the multiple components inside a single web page and the 
uh, cursor we're going to show you exactly the which uh, uh, component you want to view moving further it uh, basically you know that if I'll talk about the advantage you know that it will uh, boost up the application it will make make the things work a little faster so according to the performance yes okay so let's move to the standalone what exactly the standalone component standalone component we basically use when uh, we don't want to use the node module sorry we don't want to use the ng module the navigation part and standalone is basically for creating the application so that you can deploy our whole application separately without any dependencies so uh, yes I have created few of the standalone uh, applications like you can see here yeah. there is a command to create uh, the standalone component is like whatever the and ng generate component and the name of your component is space space standalone hyphen hyphen standalone in that case it will uh, create an component which will not going to have the ng module inside that <coughs> so or either what you can do you can just provide the standalone colon true here and uh, it will going to be understand like uh, you can also see you can uh, create imports here it will have the imports which means that uh, if you are creating any standalone component the component will going to be used as a module and you can imp uh, uh, it, it will work as an imports so currently I have made a standalone component like your standalone con colon true and uh, there is a I'll show you how my page looks like this is the standalone component I've also make a note here that this is a standalone component which does not carry ng module this is this is that table and this is the refresh table that I'll talk about later on this is the something I've used here is the pipe so before uh, moving towards uh, I'll tell you I have created one basic pipe just to understanding just to make you understand that how it works this is the custom pipe, pipe that I have created for now so this is the transform by default I'm taking the arguments like this and you can return anything according to your algorithm according to your functionality so this is how you can create your custom pipe I'm not going to represent how the things will going to be implemented on the code level because this will going to stretch the video so that's why I'm stopping here moreover in case you want to use your pipe uh, inside your standalone in that case your pipe must have the standalone property so uh, in that case you have to provide standalone true here secondly there are two more concepts like uh, one is the uh, the type of the pipes so one is the pure pipe and one is the impure pipe so if i move uh, towards the what are the pure pipes and impure pipes is the pure pipes like uh, called when uh, there is a change in a variable for suppose uh, uh, there are some inbuilt inbuilt pipes like uppercase lowercase date change currency change so if i talk about a single example is the uppercase then uh, if there is a, any change in the uh, in, in any variable on which you have uh, applied the pipe if there is any change in that value well, the pipe will going to be called and will transform the value so this is basically called pure pipe and in case if you are using any impure pipe it is basically detect the change in the browser once the browser having any change uh, the impure pipe will going to be called yeah, I, uh, yes you can say that this will going to impact the performance so it is uh, the most recommended that better to use the pure pipes but if i'll uh, tell you 
more about this that uh, what, what can be the best example for the impure pipe is the async you can use a async pipe for uh, as an impure pipe and this is the example of the custom pipe here and let me show you the one more example here is like this the currency INR this is the pure pipe I haven't made any call so that I can show you the async pipe but uh, this is my custom pipe and this is the pure pipe you can also create by just providing here pure this will by default make it pure and this will make make this in pure pipe this is the another way of defining the pure and impure pipe inside your application okay <clears throat> so it's a very short video so bye bye see you next video.